a spooktacular documentary, Easter Bloody Easter, and it's true, you can't kill the boogeyman, all on this Wednesday edition of Spill the Guts. Hello and welcome. My name is Clint and I am one half of the I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast, which brings you a minimum of 18 different content offerings each month, including our flagship featured news, reviews, interviews, and entertainment show every other week. Make sure to tune in this coming Friday, right here on Spill the Guts, to learn how the next feature episode that releases this coming Sunday kicks off the month of October. But as for now, let's get to some news, because today is Wednesday, September 27th, and this just in. All stories today come from bloodydisgusting.com, and the first is a summary from an article reporting that a new spooktacular documentary explores the original horror scream park, Spooky World. Amongst emerging haunted attractions, local businesses, and home haunts exploring the creativeness of Halloween during the start of the haunt boom in the early 90s, which I partially attribute to the Roseanne Halloween specials, something much bigger was born in 1991 in Berlin, Massachusetts, the first haunted attraction horror theme park, Spooky World. Although the birth of the haunted attraction is most often attributed to Not Scary Farm, who first started scaring people back in 1973 in Southern California, on the other side of the country in New England, Spooky World has been hailed as the original horror scream park and featured haunted houses, sideshow attractions, celebrities, and a notorious haunted hayride. The documentary from executive producer David Bertolino and director Quinn Monaghan is in the can, beginning a festival run, and even being considered to be translated into a scripted television series. One can only hope that distribution rights are on the horizon, but for now, I will share a link to this bloody disgusting article, which features an in-depth interview with the filmmakers, on the I Like It Spooky or Podcast Facebook page. Next up is news about an upcoming horror movie that unleashes a killer jackalope and his devil bunnies. Yes, a brand new Easter horror movie titled Easter Bloody Easter is on the way. Motion Picture Exchange has acquired worldwide sales rights to Easter Bloody Easter from producer Wally Bird Productions, and MPX will start selling the film at next month's American film market. Written by Allison Lobel and directed by Diane Foster, who also stars, is the story of a woman who must protect her small town from the jackalope, based on the mythical rabbit antelope creature of North American folklore, and his army of devilish bunnies as they embark on a murder spree over the Easter weekend. MPX Senior Vice President Ryan Burry said, quote, Diane has constructed an exhilarating and extravagant, in the very best way, film that won't be soon forgotten. As a horror fanatic, I absolutely love seeing a film in the genre that can truly stand out uniquely on its own. I promise you'll never look at Easter the same way again. And now it's time to pause for station identification and hop over to our podcast network, the PFPN. You're listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network, home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening. Last story of the day centers around the future of the Halloween franchise. 
Last Halloween season marked the release of Halloween Ends, the final film in a three-film trilogy from director David Gordon Green. Billed as the final battle, really this time, between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, Halloween Ends wrapped up not only Gordon Green's sequel trilogy, but also Universal and Blumhouse's time with the iconic horror franchise. The sequel trilogy was produced by Bloomhouse Productions and released into theaters by Universal Pictures as part of a pact with Miramax, and the ball is now back in Miramax's court. So, what's next for Halloween? Miramax is actively shopping the rights to the franchise around Hollywood. From what we understand, there is a massive bidding war going on right now, with several different parties interested and vying for the chance to bring Michael Myers back to life. Everything is on the table at this time, and it is ultimately up to Miramax to field pitches and decide what is most appealing to them in the wake of Gordon Green's sequel trilogy. Bloody Disgusting's sources have also indicated that Miramax is open to both film and television products, and they're currently taking offers from studios and streamers alike. Last year's Halloween Ends was the 13th installment in the Halloween franchise, which to date has never made its way onto the small screen. Could Michael Myers return with a television series? Or is another feature film reboot next up on the menu? Only time will tell, but one thing is for certain, Michael Myers will be back. Hey, I can't kill the boogeyman. And that is a wrap on your Wednesday news. Don't forget to connect with the I Like a Spooky Horror podcast on all mainstream social media platforms. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And make sure to join me this coming Friday, because I will be back like an unstoppable serial killer with more news on another edition of Spill the Guts. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Show some fucking respect for the dead, will ya?